Hey friends, God bless, God bless. So today we're doing the last Psalms, the last verses. Um, we are on verses 137 and we're going to read through to the end to verses 176. Exciting, exciting. Amen, amen. So let's give thanks to the Lord. Let's get our Bibles. Let's get prepared, guys. Amen. Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to read your word, Father, to, to study and get edified today in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that you would just guide us through this reading, Father, and open up our hearts and minds. Amen, amen, amen. So I'm going to read this word in the name of the Father, in the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And it says, Righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. Thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful. My zeal hath consumed me, because my enemies have forgotten thy words. Thy word is very pure, therefore thy servant love it. I am small and despised, yet do not I forget thy precepts. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet thy commandments are my delights. The righteousness of thy testimony is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. I cry with my whole heart, hear me, O Lord, I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, save me, and I, I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the drawing of the morning and cried, I hoped in, the wor in thy word. My eyes prevent the night watches and I meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto my loving kindness, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh and follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Concerning thy testimonies I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. Consider my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Plead my case and deliver me, quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. Great are thy tender mercies, thy tender mercies, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgments. Many are my persecutors and my enemies, yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love thy precepts. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth Ever. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but I, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. I hate and abhor a lion, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Lord, I have hoped for thy salvation, and done thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are they before me, thee. Let my cry come near before thee, O Lord, Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. 
my tongue shall speak of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteousness. Let thy hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. I have longed for thy salvation, O Lord, and thy law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise thee, and let thy judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. Amen, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen, guys. Amen. So I was looking through these. Which one would, which one stands out to me today? I'm going to think on that because there's quite a bit. But I'll get back to you on that. Um, let's see. Let's go through the verses. So the psalmist is committing to to some set of random assembled rules, okay? The Lord is a righteous God in the laws he provides reflects his righteousness. The writer has thoroughly tested God's promises and has seen them work. Even in the worst of circumstances, hallelujah. Not only are they functional and effective, they are a delight. But the psalmist has to run out out of the mill commitment in seeking God's truth he calls out with all his heart he is up before dawn and awake through the night to, to, to meditate on God's word on his promises wicked people are nearby but as long as God is is near nearer with his commands, the psalmist knows he will preserve. He knows he will preserve. Appealing to God for deliverance, the psalmist continues to profess his great love for God's law. He realizes that the wicked people who pursue him have no hope in deliverance, for deliverance, rather, which gives him a greater appreciation for God's compassion towards him. He is being persecuted by powerful people who have no cause to do so. Yet what really gets to him is the power of God's word. Each new insight is like discovering vulnerable, valuable treasure. Amen. The reference to seven times a day is a way of saying all the time. Because seven is the number that indicates completeness or perfection. Amen. It's a number that indicates completeness or perfection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Completely, completeness or perfection. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. His focus on God provides a sense of peace, even in trying times. Even in trying times. <clears throat> the psalmist closes the stanza, looks to the future. The psalmist intends to keep crying out to God, asking for help, praising him, and singing. He wants God to continue to provide understanding, hallelujah, deliverance, teaching, help, and delight. In return for continued life, he will, con he will offer continued Praise. And yet, after all the writer has said about the devotion to God, he, he concludes with a confession that he has strayed in the context of everything else he has written. This is probably not so much an admission of falling away as an expression of the desire to be closer to his heavenly shepherd. Amen, amen. I found that interesting, how he ended that, how he ended it up with a confession of how, how he's, he, he's astray, he's, he's fallen away, but he's crying out to the Lord, amen, because it says in verse 176, I have gone astray like a lost sheep, seek thy servant, find me God, find me, come get me, help me, 
I've strayed away. I'm lost. Come get me. I'm lost. I don't know how to get back to you. I'm lost. Come and get me. For I do not forget thy commandments. I remember you. But I'm lost. Have you ever felt lost and not as near to God as you should? You feel like you're falling away. That is so important to cry out to God and let him know how you feel. And he's going to draw near. He's, he's going to pull you near. He's going to hold on to you. Just cry out to the Lord. All your feelings don't matter how you feel. You cry out to the Lord. That's what he wants. He wants you to speak to him. Amen. And the Lord leaves the 99 for the one. So if you are a lost sheep or if you feel like you have fallen away, the Lord's going to be there still holding on to you. He's not going to let go of you. He's still going to be trying to guide you. But cry out to the Lord and let him know that you need strength when you're weak. Cry out to the Lord and tell him that you're fallen and you need him to help lift you up. And he's going to lift you up. And he's going to pull you close. And he's going to show you that he loves you and that he's holding on to you. And that he hasn't forgotten you. That he hears you. And he hears your cries. So keep on crying out to the Lord. Keep on calling to the Lord. Amen. When you feel like you're falling away. Or if you feel like you're not as near to the Lord as you should be. Or you or you feel like you're not feeling the presence as much as you used to. Cry out to the Lord. Because he doesn't leave you. He's always there. But we must seek him. For him to draw near to us. Amen. 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 Glory to God. And when he says about the seven times, I repeated that a few times. But, you know, when it says, um, <clears throat> when I was saying earlier about what the number seven means, you know, it, it indicates completeness and, and perfection, right? But it says seven times a day is a way of saying all the time. It's called, It's like praying without season. You're continuously have God on your mind. You're continuously speaking to the Lord throughout your day, asking him, Lord, should I do this? Lord, is this good for me? Lord, lead me in here. Lord, help give me confidence in this situation. Lord, help me. I'm afraid. Give me the strength because I know you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of love, of sound mind. Hallelujah. And, and the Lord is going to be there and he's just going to guide you, but you got to keep him on your mind and it changes things. Amen. It changes things continuously keep him in your mind continuously you know um speak to him amen that's praying without season seasoning amen but yes this is a beautiful psalm so yes the last verse sticks out to me a lot um because it's 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 real it happens um it can happen to anyone um just the passion in this psalm is powerful it's powerful um, I also liked, um, I also liked 169 where it says, let me cry, come near before thee, O Lord, give me understanding according to thy word. Hallelujah. Because the more you draw near to the Lord and you're going to ask him to help you understand more, help help you understand more of what God wants from you, where he wants to take you, what your purpose is. Amen. The more you get close to God, the more he's going to reveal to you and speak to you and speak to your heart and help you. Amen. Amen. I hope this blessed you, this video, but I'm going to end it with that, guys. Glory to God. Um, think about what verse stuck out to you and how it makes you feel um, and uh, speak to the Lord about it. Ask for understanding, ask for guidance, and as always, continue praying without seasoning. Um, make it make it a habit to wake up and be thankful to the Lord in the morning, and before and after every meal is good, and at night, and just always be joyful and thankful and continuously um, praise, worship, and keep the Lord on your mind. Amen. And you're going to see a change in your life. And you're going to see the Lord move. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Seek the Lord in all his righteousness. Amen. But it does say in the Bible, seek the kingdom of God before all else. And then everything else will be added onto you. 
um, I didn't say it the exact way the verse says it in the Bible, but it is something onto that terms. Seek the kingdom with all thine heart, in um, all that mind and soul, and then everything else will be added onto you. Amen. Glory to God. Um, as always, guys, it's a blessing. Uh, may the Lord be with you today, tomorrow, forever. If you like this video, hit the like button and share the gospel. Share it with somebody who might need to hear the word of the Lord today. And um, that is all. Well, God bless you guys. God bless you, friends.